In this step then we're going to take a look at how you go about creating a new Unreal Engine 5 project which is essentially uh, a file and some folders with content in that contains your entire game. And you can see we've got the project browser here. This is some of the recent projects that I've been working on. You probably won't have this if you just installed it or if you're just getting started. So we're going to go to the games tab here. There are some other things that you can work on but for this tutorial the scope that we're looking at is games. So we'll go to games. And then within this tab, you can see that we've got these templates and these are really good for getting started. They come with some assets, levels, characters, a little bit of logic to get you started in certain types of games or projects. So you can see we've got first person, third person, top down, vehicle, handheld, AR, and virtual reality. The virtual reality one is really useful if you're new to VR. But for what we're going to be doing today and in this project, we're gonna choose the third person project template. There is some information about it here. And then we need to make some choices here in terms of the project defaults. So we can choose between Blueprint and C++. This is how we go about coding our game. And C++ could be its own course on its own. This is aimed at beginners. So we're gonna to stick to Blueprint, which is a visual scripting language. It's much more accessible. It's a lot better for learners. Then we need to choose the target platform. We've got a choice between desktop and mobile. Again, to keep things simple, we're just gonna aim for desktop. And for the same reason, we're gonna keep the quality preset to maximum over scalable because I don't really want to worry too much about how we scale performance. We are gonna turn the starter content on, which gives you some additional meshes and effects and sounds and materials that can help you when you get started, which we will use some of these going forward. And we're gonna leave ray tracing turned off because this is designed to be a course that's accessible to everyone. And unfortunately, not everyone has hardware that is capable of doing ray tracing. So we're gonna leave that off for now. Then we need to choose somewhere to save this to. So, we need to give the project a name first of all and I'm going to call mine robot game like that and then you need to choose somewhere to put your project so here you've got project location you can click on the folder and I've already got a folder called UE5 projects which is fine for where I want to put it so I'm going to keep it there but you might choose somewhere else on your PC that you want to put it and then we can click on create this will now do some stuff. It's going to copy some files over, set the project up, put it where we asked it to, and then when we're done, it will put us into the level editor. And the level editor has now opened. This is the default screen you will see in a new third person project in Unreal Engine 5. In the next step, we're going to have a quick tour of this interface so that you know which part does what, uh, and then we'll be able to move forward with the tutorial. So I'll see you in the next step to look at the interface. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and enjoyable. If you'd like to help me create more content like this, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon. The contributions I get through Patreon make a huge difference in keeping this channel going. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to make sure you don't miss my upcoming tutorials. Your support and engagement mean the world to me and help my channel continue to grow. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.